Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we're going to do two loads, one to Moline and uh, one to Iowa City. And we're going to talk a little bit about what it is we actually do here on this channel. So stay tuned for some trucking. video here last week sometime we're on our way to Moline it has been a nasty morning I was not expecting this at all um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on I don't know if it's freezing fog or if we got some uh, uh, sleet coming down or uh, the road has been slick uh, a number of accidents uh, going on but uh it's not too bad over here on 30 and two lane. Um, I wanted to jump on here right now because I did have somebody who was asking me about um, the cab over we're gonna pass here in a second. I don't know if I'll be able to get a better view of it. Maybe we'll stop later on, on the way back through and do a short about this one. I, I haven't decided yet. If it, it does have a for sale sign on it. There is a for sale sign. Okay, now you know. It is for sale. Can't really read what's on the sign, but uh, if I do happen to stop later, we'll get a better picture of that. For those of you who may be interested, for now, we're getting back on the... Oh, getting back on, like I shouldn't say it that way. Speeding back up to 55 here. Um, I'm probably going to let you go because it's still nasty. It does feel like the sun is trying to poke out, but it's not there yet. We really need it to burn through this. So let's get on down to Moline. Should have dodged a bullet right now as I was pulling in, um, driving east. I saw a drywall truck coming in from coming west, driving west, coming from the east. So, here I'll get back in the end. Yep. Thanks. It's a little hard to hear. Probably something to do with the fact that my uh, truck's loud and I'm right up against a building. I believe my unload zone is right on the other side of this pile. So that makes things interesting because I got trusses on. Um, see if they leave me enough room here. Hopefully they did. I think we should be good. Stay nice and tight to this wall. Oh, dude. Come on through the flatbed unloading zone. I'm gonna 
to stay nicely to the outside of this. In fact, I'm just going to straighten out. This is where we're going to be. All right. Off those brakes. Be good to go. See my load. Pretty exciting. We're done, um, but we got a little bit of fun here before we get out of here. They did not do a good job of plowing this parking lot, and so I'm here attempting to make this turn, which I should be able to. I'm taking all the all the space provided we should be able to get our trailer back around us our friend over there is about ready to pull in this is not enjoyable got a nice Kenworth over there nice truck not drywall truck it's just uh, direct shipping uh, plywood so that's cool. He's ready to go. Um, the reason I don't feel too bad about going in front of somebody like this is because they have a lot of extra work that I don't have to do. Uh, so he had to untarp and then unstrap and wind up all the straps. Uh, my process is much simpler and much faster. So he didn't actually wait there all that long. Um, because I, I'm in and out in not 30 minutes here. Um, and he spent at least 15 of that, um, getting his stuff undone. So he was only waiting there for just a little bit of time. So that's nice. All right, I'm gonna get this, get checked out here and, uh, we will get down the road. Just stopped here at Quick Star in Bettendorf. Always a pain to get into, by the way. Um. I've showed you guys this before. Uh, for those of you who've been watching for a while, I'm just popping on here right now because I really want to say thank you guys uh, who popped over from from Trucking with Schmidt. Um, thanks for coming on over. Uh, I post probably five days a week, five or six days a week. So we keep pretty busy. Um, I respect Kurt a lot. Uh, I've been watching his channel for a, a long time. Pretty sure I found him, started watching his channel when it was, well, it was well below a thousand. Um, I was trying to look back on on his channel, see which ones I'd watched. Um, and I went back to June, May, really, of 2020. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's right after he went live uh, public with his channel, so. Um, he had been posting for a while um, before that with just family, I believe he said. Just sharing the posts. Uh, but went public um, shortly before I started watching. I was just, you know, I'm from Iowa, so um, just searching trucking in Iowa. And I think the one that I watched first uh, was um, entitled the Northern Plains of Iowa or something like that. Which would make sense if I was searching that and I found it that way. But I enjoy watching his channel. I love his truck. I like watching him, um, especially when he drives roads that I've, I, I'm on all the time. That's fun to watch. So, um, a little bit about my channel. Like I say, I post five days a week most of the time. Um, I have a Freightliner FLD 1998. Uh, it's got a cat 3406e a 13 speed in it uh, like this truck give you a little bit of the view here what i'm looking at she's an older truck she's got problems we work on her uh, this past weekend i adjusted the clutch um got that back to the proper adjustment so that was that's good she's working good One, the clutch brake wasn't working great so i knew i needed to adjust it and uh when i got down there it you know it was obvious I needed to adjust it. So got that done. That's the sort of thing we do. We, we 
we work on stuff. I don't show a lot of the stuff in the weekend that I work on, but I'm an independent owner operator. I, uh, like he mentioned, I run flatbed, but specifically I run Menards Distribution Center flatbed. So the flatbed behind me right now is not my trailer. It is owned by Menards and I just drop and hook. So I drop and hook at the, the, um, the distribution center and then I go to the stores around, mostly around the state of Iowa and I uh, offload, they offload the stuff and I roll up straps and that's about all I do. It's, it's pretty simple, um, usually pretty low drama. <laughs> so that's, that's nice. Uh, we had some drama a couple weeks ago because of all the cold, but yeah, like I said, thanks for coming on over. Uh, and of course, thanks for everybody who's who's been here for a long time too. I don't don't want to take you guys for granted. Um, yeah. For now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna head back to the yard and see what they got for us next. Usually, I'm I text in and tell them how, what time I'm gonna be back. And before I get there, he texts me with a trailer number and a destination. And it's that simple. Um, after I get the trailer picked up. Uh, I go inside the office and uh, print off my own bill of lading, and I'm on my way. It's pretty slick. So we'll take you along for the ride as we get back to to the yard and, and do our normal procedure. Pulling down 18th, and it was, for those of you guys who don't know, that's, I mean, you can sort of see in the distance out there to the left, um, we're pulling down into uh, Midwest Manufacturing, AKA the Menards distribution center. I'm going to figure out how to take you along for the ride as I come to the yard here. Sort of explain what the process is a little bit. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's listen to some Jake breaks. Might as well do that. My passenger window doesn't work, so you can't listen, listen real good. But I'm sure you can hear enough. Make sure everybody knows what I'm doing. Turn signal on. I am going to have to stop here because somebody's waltzing in. I don't know who this is works inside the, the office or what he's doing. I'm just going to let him do what he's doing and wait for him. Because I don't have enough room right now to pull behind him. Does he know he's in my way? He does now. So, I don't have a key code or anything. What I have is a card to scan in on. So, I'll show you. I guess I won't show you that. <laughs> scan it right there and I can get it. Now that I'm in the gate, usually what I do is I pull up my phone and figure out what direction the wind's coming out, out of. Looks like it's coming out of the southwest. Um, so, we are going to park our trailer nose in when we get around the corner. We're facing west right now, if anybody wonders. Probably can tell by the sun, but you know. My trailer that I'm gonna pick up next is trailer number 8485. Might be over here on the side. We're going to Iowa City next is where we're going. Menards in Iowa City. Um, it's probably this one over here. Let's see. Four eight five. It's that one. All right. Not my favorite trailer, but that's all right. Looks like I have plenty of places to choose from. As far as where I can park, this is where they load the trailers, and then they have um, the stockpile of each store the next loads and what have you. So I think I'm gonna take this spot right here. 
They got a lot of stuff in. We got rail cars over the weekend, so that's good. Plenty of work to do. All right. Let's get this trailer dropped. So we're got everything done outside. We're going to, uh, of course, release our brakes. I prefer to, I think this is probably the right way to do it, but I, this is what I do anyway. Um, I'm gonna pull forward enough so it disconnects the kingpin. Drop our air. Shouldn't take long. We should be on the ground completely. It was mostly on the ground already. And we're out from underneath. Now let's go get our trailer. Okay, we're over by our trailer now. It's this yellow one here. Take you around it in a second. Most of the trailers that we pull are either spread axles, like I had this morning, or uh, we have tri axle super single trailers. And uh, those ones, they load them to. I prefer those ones, but they load them heavy. Right up to 80,000 pounds. Like is legal. Um, these yellow trailers are tandem axle trailers. I'm dropping my air and I'm uh, locking my diff because of how gross it is in the yard right now. <clears throat> in preparation to get underneath this trailer. Because it looks like it's low. Oh, not as low as I thought it was. Um, okay, we should be locked. Give her a little tug test. Good to go. Uh, diff locked back in. Bring the suspension back up. Um, the nice thing about the tandems is they don't they don't ever make you slide them because they don't load these ones as heavy. So instead of being 78,000 pounds with a, with a spread axle, usually it's more like 71 or 72 or 70, or maybe even less than that, uh, which makes it nice. Let's go take a look at our trailer. See what we got going on today. As you can see, I'm still dropped, bringing up the air pressure. Oh, lots of dimensional. some uh, uh, fencing, some shingles, some LVL, more dimensional lumber. Looks like we got some plywood on the back. This is a typical load. I would consider it a uh, everything in the kitchen sink load. And I need to make sure everything's tight. That LVL only has two straps on it. That's tempting to put one more. They didn't do that real good. I might just do that. Take a look around here. I will come through and check all these straps. Check the tires. Check the lights. But I'll do that off camera. We'll catch you in a bit. Okay, now we got connected to the trailer. I added that one strap, made me feel better. Um, I get on the scale here. Right now, the scale is messed up. It's off by 8,000 pounds. So we'll see what it looks like. They may have fixed it today while I was gone. Maybe, we'll find out. Let's take a look at what we, what we weigh. See if it's... 32,000 on the uh, trailer. 74 280 maybe that might be right it doesn't feel right to me i feel like it's in the 60s but what's going on right now is it's reading 8000 pounds static so really I weigh probably 66. That's what it was this morning. So I didn't, I don't know for sure that it's the same right now. 
that's why I'm leery. But um, I'm confident my my weight is fine. I can you can feel. <laughs> You could definitely feel. So now I'm gonna run into the trucker, trucker entrance right here and I'm going to uh, get my paperwork printed off, come back out here, double check my trailer, um, all that jazz, and uh, we'll get on the way. All right. Went inside, grab my paperwork. Feel much better about that LVL. Okay. Take a look, make sure a 485. 485. We have the right paperwork. We have the right trailer. We're going to the right place. Isn't that helpful? That's so helpful. <laughs> All right, we're going to get on the road. I'm probably going to stop at Subway. Probably not going to show you that. Uh, Subway is a frequent place of mine. If you guys, guys, you watch this, know that that's true. In fact, I met a subscriber a while I was at Sub Subway once. <laughs> uh, the snowman. Anyway, let's get rolling. We're pulling up to the gate in Iowa City. So it's pretty simple what we do here. We roll up to the window pass them our paperwork they scan the, the code on it and then tell us to go to the back or if there's somebody in there they make us wait which I'm hoping I don't have to wait okay I do have to wait for this guy This code up here is what they're going to scan. And now he's checking people out. Whoa. What time is it right now? We're a little later than we said. We said 3 o'clock and we're here at 3.15. I underestimated how much time I'd need. Didn't realize I needed fuel. Didn't think about it. All right. He's got his mask on, so he's safe. Sorry, I'm not going to say any more. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> All right, here we go. Thank you. You heard the man. We're good to go. See how bad their piles are. And they barely look like they've melted. Ah. All right, so we gotta scoot around the side of the building here. Uh, past all this treated lumber. I run out of Marshalltown, Iowa, the distribution center. They don't do treated there. Um, this is either from a Valley, Nebraska, or from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. They got a lot of it there. Obviously, they can st store that outside because it's treated. The untreated stuff, a lot of it has plastic on it, so they do they do store it, like this stuff right here. That's dimensional lumber, but it's got plastic over it. So they store it outside. Makes sense, right? Sort of self-explanatory. Probably didn't have to explain it. Oh well. At this point, we're gonna get this stuff unstrapped. We'll show you that a different day. Uh, for now, we need to get this done. Took less than a half an hour. Good stuff. That's why Iowa City is one of my favorites.
Now we're gonna get out of here. Usually what they have me do is they have me open their door and they take a peek in, peek in and make sure I didn't steal nothing, which I didn't. So that's good. And I, I usually don't even stop rolling. So I'll let you guys be here for that. Oh, he's not even gonna come check. He's gonna let me through. Yes, he is. Thank you. It really depends on the guy. And depends on their boss, of course. Some stores, you never have to open your door. They just wave you on through. They don't care. Other stores are strict. Doesn't really bother me either way. Okay. We are headed back to the yard. We are here. End of the day. Gonna drop our trailer and go home. Look at that sky. Isn't that beautiful? Woo! Yeah. Way to go, Iowa. Wind is out of the southwest still. So in this trailer, I need to park normal way. Which is to go pull around and face back southwest. Oh, we didn't look at what trailer we got for tomorrow. This is one I wish I could take. Every day I wish I could take home my trailer for the next day so I don't have to come into the yard so early. 2159 is my trailer for tomorrow. I am going to Grimes. So if we can, we might stop by the receiving office. Say hello. Okay, we're just cruising back here. I guess I could speed up a little bit more. Take you through the yard one more time today. I think our trailer is actually getting moved right now. trailer even loaded yet? I don't even think it's loaded yet. I think I'm going to put my trailer just right on the other side of this guy. Yep, that's where we're going. Right over here. Catch you guys in a minute. We're about to disconnect from our trailer, get everything done. We're just chilling here. Uh, I figured thumbnail picture. Um, yeah, we're gonna head home. I was thinking about washing my truck, but I don't really have time. The sun's almost down, so I'm gonna run out of daylight. Hopefully, we get that done tomorrow. That'd be really nice. Uh, like I said, we're going to Grimes tomorrow, 2159. I think this trailer over here. Uh, it's not loaded yet. They're currently loading. Uh, is the trailer that I'm going to be running with. But it's a beautiful evening here in central Iowa. It was a good day at work. Um, got some stuff done. Made some money. Now we get to go home like we do every day. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I am thankful. I am thankful. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Comment down below, and we will see you. We will see you on the next one.